So what do you think Super Mario RPG is about? Saving the princess? Wrong. In the very beginning of the game, Bowser does kidnap the famous lady of video games, but you rescue her after a quick battle on a falling chandelier. Then a huge living sword named Smitty drops from the sky and smashes into Bowser's castle, throwing everyone outside. The princess and Bowser are lost, and you have to find them. At an odd point in your quest, you actually join your enemy, Bowser, and discover the princess in Booster's tower. Who the heck is Booster? Who knows? The princess is a feisty gal. She even tricks Bowser into kissing Mario as a prank. Don't mess with the princess. She doesn't like to play games. But we like to play this one. Super Mario RPG is full of fun. The battle controls are the best of any RPG. Other Nintendo characters also have cameos. Donkey Kong appears in the jungle. Link from the Zelda games is found sleeping in one of the inns, and the 8-bit ancestor of Mario is found behind a curtain in Booster's Tower. The 3D graphics of this game are outstanding. You will love this game. The only flaws are the poor hit detection outside of the battle screens and the low difficulty level. You'll beat this game in a week tops if you play a lot every day. Nevertheless, you have to play this game. So rent it, have a ball playing it, beat it, and return it. Mario is back on top. Grab a pen or pencil, quick. In Super Mario RPG, you have to play three different songs at three different times in order to win membership cards for the drink bar in Tadpole Pond. The last song is the hardest to play. The notes are La Ti Do, Re So, Do Re Mi. I hope you're writing this down. Look closely at the placement of the tadpole shown here to see where the notes go. Again, the notes are La Ti Do, Re So, Do Re Mi. We'll leave it up for the slow riders out there. Playing this tune will win you the soprano card, which will allow you to buy the Caro Caro Colas at the drink bar. These special colas restore all hit points and magic points for your party. Some games really tick you off from time to time. Super Mario RPG is one of them. In one section of the game, you have to climb vines to reach Nimbus Land, which is floating high in the sky. Our game guy Tom Allen was so mad, he almost broke his controller in half. The play control in this area is awful, especially this jump right here. He's still trying to make this jump without falling. We'll have the ending to this otherwise fun game on a future episode, so keep watching the show for more coverage of that famous mustachioed plumber.